Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Justin for MLB Baseball Vlogs. Guys, I'm telling you, me, Tim, we're coming back to re-image MLB Baseball Vlogs. We're going to try to come back with a whole new look. We're going to uh, continue all of our past work. And guys, we're going to be coming back with a website which has been... Uh, which is coming back. We're trying to get everything getting... Uh, more site views, we're trying to get some more like subs, we're trying to get a lot of different things, but right now we're taking small steps, we did leave the show for about two months, and then we were like, should we keep it, should we not keep it, but we cannot turn down your the baseball fans, and this is a channel for strict MLB fans, where they can speak their mind, that's what we want out of this, including our blog, which is going to be launching again here within the next couple of days, and... By the way we're going right now, we could get a partnership at no time. But, of course, MLB is going to, with the new SOPA Act, they're going to take down our videos if that bill is passed, which is going to be stupid. But, we got to start somewhere, and we got to get back on track. But, guys, I'm here to talk about some free agent signings. We got some uh, breaking news, I should say. But, let's get right into this. So, today, I'm going to start from minor for like minor signings to the biggest signings. Um, today, the Orioles are to sign Dennis Reyes. He is a 34-year-old left-hander who I think last year played for the Boston Red Sox or the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, but he is going to be going down to the minor league. He does get a, an invite to the Major League Spring Training. He will most likely possibly be in the bullpen. Um, remember, the Baltimore Orioles... Uh, starting rotation was just tore apart last year. They sent guys, guys were injured. They sent guys down to the minor leagues. I mean, they just got to get somewhere. But this bolt, this, I think with this, with his uh, ability, I think Dennis Reyes will bring that some veteran leadership into that bullpen. Also, the Diamondbacks re-signed Joe Saunders. This is a guy who last year oh, came to the Arizona Diamondbacks in the Dan Heron trade. Uh, Saunders was not really too happy about it and I think he's gonna uh, get over that he seems a pretty good fit I think this bit uh, this pitching rotation for the uh the Arizona Diamondbacks is very going to be something you really want to watch out for Ian Kennedy Joe Saunders Trevor Cahill um Barry Enright has got to make his way up there I'm a huge Barry Enright fan and he is guy will find his way up there but he's down in double a I think he's trying to work his way back um he was sent down but I can see this guy working his way back so you want to check out this. This is a bullpen you really guys want to check the, check out this upcoming season. Other news, Johnny Gomes. I am a huge Johnny Gomes fan also. Um, Johnny Gomes signs with the Oakland Athletics. Now this is a team who has a lot, who is trying to get most of their prospects up to the major league level. The only guy that brings the power to that roster is freaking Kurt Suzuki, the catcher. I'm a huge, I'm a huge baseball fan. I like a lot of players. I like Kurt Suzuki. He's, I think, there's six hitter in the lineup or a seventh hitter I mean that's the guy that really brings the power to that whole lineup so Brandon Allen he's still trying to make his name for himself as the starting first baseman for the out Oakland Athletics he was traded for I think uh, Brad Ziegler I'm pretty sure but don't hold that against me so they really got to find more power and also going along with the Oakland Athletics who got rid of so much talent this offseason they are finding interest in Manny Ramirez now, this is something that can be very interesting. If Manny is to go to the Oakland Athletics, he still has to serve that 50-game suspension. Now, there is also more teams also in Manny Ramirez, such as the Blue Jays and the Orioles. I don't really see Manny fitting well in with the Orioles. I mean, I don't really see. I don't think Manny should sign with them. This, that team's not really going to go anywhere. I thought that was going to be a team you wanted to look out for th last year, but that was not to be. The Blue Jays, it, it can go if and if, so... It could be something uh, you really want to watch out for. Um, Yankees and Brett Gardner avoid arbitration with each other. Aaron Cook officially signs with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Ryan Madsen also signs with the Reds. Uh, Faso Carmona got uh, arrested. I forgot his full name, but he got arrested. He posted bail, and he is ready. He's out of jail right now, so um, it could be a while until he actually gets a visa back to the United States, and it could be questionable if he's going to be on the on the roster for opening day or possibly spring training to start training so there you go guys that is all the MLB latest news going on right now so make sure to check out the website we got a lot of posts we're going to be doing and we're actually going to break down some major from some big stories that we mentioned in this video um, I hope you guys like the new site banner Albert Pujols, Matt Moore and also Bryce Harper 
and I'm going to be updating that every so often, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see a certain player, make sure you contact us, and we'll try to do the best of our ability to getting it, get it on. So make sure you guys comment on this video. Let's hear your guys' comments on all the latest signings, arbitration uh, sign, signings, I should say, um, people who are avoiding it. You guys know what I mean. But I'll leave you guys with this. Watch some UFC. Have a great weekend, and stay safe, everybody. Have a great week.